Hello peeps, I never expected that testing Unreal multiplayer functionality was so easy, so as you can see I have a PC here, I have my Asus, it's actually, it doesn't even have any video card, all running on Intel GPU. So how to test the real multiplayer, yeah, so in LAN mode, you can package your build, so go to Windows, package project, pick some folder, wait for 30 seconds, for my case I have a pretty beefy PC. Unlike you, I think you will wait for five minutes. <laughs> for me, just like, okay, let's cut the time. And it's done, it was really 30 seconds. So now you can see that the build was done. It goes to build windows. Actually, I shared my account via the network. So all of these uh, folders are accessible on my other machine. I'm logged into the same Windows account, Microsoft Windows account. So pretty great feature. So I can run my blast.exe here, let's wait on it, and I can go to another machine, okay, let me find it. So here we go, that's another desktop, you see, another desktop, blaster, and of course it takes lots of time to start it like this, I don't want to, you know, to upload it to some USB drives, I just use this network. So you see the game is running here, let me start it here, it will take like a minute to download all of the files, so let's wait. I'm using Steam Online subsystem, you can check if your game actually recognizes this Steam, if you press Shift tab, you see the Steam UI, overlay UI is active, so it's good, so it means I was logged into the Steam. The Asus is still trying to download it, let's wait. Almost there, you can see that another, so you, you, uh, that's important point. You have to use your another Steam account. I just registered it for, for another email. You cannot use the same accounts here and there because actually we'll be kicked out of one of the sessions. So here is still my main account and this is my multiplayer test account. Let's wait a while. Here we go, even the Steam is launching so I can press Shift tab. Yeah, you see Metro Gladke, that's my another account. It's pretty, pretty slow performance here again. It's actually without any GPU here. So now, how do you test? So I pick this PC as my host, so I press host. It creates a session, this is a lobby room. Once someone joins, it automatically switches to the main map. Let's hope this still works, because sometimes it doesn't work again. We are using the Steam online subsystem, so it's actually all of this data is routed through the Steam. Yeah, you see? Switching, we switch to the map, so it takes like 30 seconds to load it here. Yeah, here we go, you see, spawn the, the other guy, let's try if we can run. It's really, really, really slow here, again, there is no, there is no GPU. Can I move here? Let me try it. Yeah, I can. And you can see the state is updated here, left, so right, left, right. Again, lagging because only, it's running all on Intel 11. 11th uh, generation. It has internal GPU iris or something like that, pretty useless to be honest. And as you can see, I can move from now, I can aim, I can I think even crouch, yeah, animation is still not fixed, I will fix it. I can rotate, so I'm using just a mouse to rotate. And all of these actions you can see <laughs> in a slow motion, they are translated to this guy and let's see how it works the other way. Always to test how it looks when you are doing some changes, yeah, like moving your character on the server, and if the changes on the client propagate back to... Oh, almost dropped. <laughs> okay. And you can see, actually, yeah. So it was synced at least. And it's pretty good. Okay, so that's how you test it very, very easily. And I will show you another way of doing it. One second. You really need to very, very quickly quickly test it. So just uh, press these three dots, go to number of players three. Uh, pay attention that you have to pick players listen server. So your editor will act as a server and it will listen to these two clients. And you can see they're launching. Again, this is for, uh, right now it is not using Steam online subsystem. So let me activate, yeah, this client is active. I can move, you can see, so I'm moving the wind, the small window, I can crouch, almost can crouch, and as you can see all of the actions are updated, so I can point in different directions, and so on. So really easy, I never expected it to be like that, 
because when I tried to do this in Unity for my other projects Sloboda 2 and Odessa Loca Deserta, I was really shocked with this, like you have like netcode, you have photon, you have some other stuff, something is free, something is paid, there is a mirror, you go to that site, it says okay we are outdated, we are deprecated, use netcode, you go to Unity, it says okay we are, we are abandoned, you go to Unity forums, they say okay, you are really abandoned, no updates for two years, no bug fixes, nothing. And that was the moment when I stopped, um, you know, uh, investing in Unity multiplayer and I did all of my games in single player mode, but here actually Unreal Engine 5 has everything included, absolutely everything is included, you just install a plugin for Steam and to substitute it with the uh, Epic Online system, yeah, EOS, I think it's called, Epic Online system, it's just uh, one change in configuration and that's all, so you go to your config.ini file, change from Steam to EOS and, and you are done. I, I, I think I will publish to Epic Online Store as well. So, thank you. It was pretty fun to test it. <laughs> okay, maybe I can join it again. Yeah, I can join because it actually stopped the server. And it will, I think, wait for 30 seconds, the run of sessions, and it will drop the connection. So that's all. Thank you.